It's been more than two years since Islamic extremist militants known as Selika emerged in Kar. Since then, they've succeeded in a coup that's killed thousands of people and left about one third of the country's population in need of aid. The coup has plagued the nation with violence between Selika rebels and violent vigilante groups called anti-Balaka. La maison brûlée, les greniers et les champs brûlés, euh, c'est vraiment le catastrophe. Les femmes sont beaucoup traumatisées de par ce qui leur arrive. Même si elles ne sont pas violées, elles voient leur mari tué, leur fille violée. Three top religious leaders have been dedicated to speaking out against religious extremism and promoting peaceful coexistence between Christians and Muslims, not only within their nation, but also across Europe and at the UN. Their message is that violence in Qatar is not caused by religion. Instead, they say the root of the conflict lies in the struggle for political power. The president of the Evangelical Alliance, the Catholic Archbishop of Bangui, and the president of the Islamic community are credited with calming down many potentially deadly clashes. Pour arrêter les tueries, arrêter les massacres, arrêter tout ce que nous connaissons dans notre pays et qui met à mal la vie, le, le vivre ensemble des Centrafricains. Nous ne voulons pas qu'il y ait une guerre civile, une guerre interreligieuse en Centrafrique. Nous ne l'avons jamais connue et nous ne voulons pas la connaître parce que une guerre peut déclencher, mais on ne sait pas quand elle va finir. For their efforts, Time magazine named them among the 100 most influential people in the world. And the French magazine Le Monde calls them the three saints of Bangui. They were also awarded a prize for their peaceful efforts in Car. Open Doors International, which partners with churches in Car, agrees that it's wrong to refer to the conflict as simply a battle of Muslims against Christians, but stresses the importance of realizing that the group Ex Celica has clear extremist Islamist motives, since the vast majority of its members are jihadi militants from Kars' northeastern neighboring countries, Sudan and Chad. Kars' president is hopeful that the upcoming elections will help bring peace to her country. The elections were set for July, but now have been postponed until October.